In a press conference today, Prime Minister Scott Morrison has said Australia's coronavirus restrictions would be eased next week, giving the country an early mark. Actually, I've just thought of a good nickname for a guy called Mark who prematurely ejaculates. Gone in 60 seconds. In other news, potato producers in Belgium have urged people to double their intake of french fries to twice a week in order to stop 750,000 potatoes from rotting. Belgian Health Minister Maggie de Bloc expects people to cooperate, saying, when the chips are down, we as Belgians must down the chips. For any Belgian people offended, I refer to them as French fries. Remember, it's not an oversight, it's because I don't respect your culture. The US Department of Defense has released three previously classified videos of unidentified aerial phenomena, or UAPs. The DOD explaining the decision said it was to reassure people that the footage was in fact real and to remind them to take time at night to stare up at the sky. And remember, not all threats to the human race originate on this planet, and the sky is the one border we can't close. In music news, according to a recent poll, 57% of music festival goers would attend a music festival before the invention of a COVID-19 vaccine. It should also be noted that 57% of people who attend music festivals have had unprotected sex with a complete stranger in a tent because they got high on toilet manufactured bikey produced ecstasy. So maybe they should stay in their fucking lane. That's it from another news this week. We'll be back Monday, but we leave you with exclusive iPhone footage of the birth of Karl Stefanovic's beautiful baby girl, delivered by Shane Jacobson. Good night.